Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Micah and I'm going to be doing something super exciting because I was already able to find all the new Essence products. I know we're still waiting for that Catrice lipstick video I promised you three weeks ago, but Catrice has still not released one of the shades from the Clean ID line. And so I'm still sort of low-key waiting for that one to come our way. So until that is here, I will not be able to film that video just yet. So I decided to move some things around in my scheduling and first do this Essence video. Again, nearly a full face is here. There is no new blush or a highlighter from Essence, but I think looking at everything else... Oh, and no new concealer or powder. Uh, so there's a couple of face products that we don't have, but we do have everything else. So, super exciting. And I have to say, I just watched everything before sitting down to film this video. And I think Essence may be onto some good stuff, but also a few things where I'm like, really Essence? Is that really what we want here? I don't think so. So uh, I think it's a very mixed bag, which I always feel Essence has. So let's just get started. Okay, so in case you're wondering where I found all of these products, I bought them all from a Dutch website called Boozy Shop. I don't think they ship internationally. It would be nice if they do that because they do now sell all of the Essence and Catrice products a little earlier even than when they come to the Dutch drugstore. So they seem to be more like, it almost as if they're getting the products directly from the brand and I've even seen uh, Catrice and Essence now recommending Boozy Shop to be the place you shop from if you're in the Netherlands because they do also stock the entire range of foundation shades which with Essence and Catrice is never really a good thing, but I'm not entirely sure, but there were quite a few shades of the foundation that I have to try. But before we get to foundation, let's get to primer because they have a new hydrating face primer and it contains coconut water and hyaluronic acid. Essence primers are very hit and miss for me because some of them are really, really nice, but I've also tried quite a few where I was like, oh, Essence. The scent, no. I already put this a little bit on the back of my hand. It does have a scent, but it's not super perfumey like I'm used to for most Essence products. So I'll show you this on the back of my hand. So there you have it. It's like a white, like very creamy uh, texture. So let me put this on. And it's very, it's not sticky, but it's definitely like a thicker texture. I'd like to use a bit more of this actually. So I don't think there's enough on my cheeks yet, and on my forehead, and the sides of my nose. So this has a, it does have a scent. It's a very clean scent. Uh, I've tried Essence primers in the past that smelled very floral, which this one does, doesn't do. And it does feel nice and hydrating on the skin, uh, I have to say. Uh, and it's like a very thick, almost creamy kind of texture, which is interesting and also very different for Essence because I don't think they've ever done anything like this before really with this kind of texture, at least not that I've tried. And this, ooh, this feels very nice. I do think that this is one of those primers where, you know, because you, you need quite a bit to get it to work. Um, this is one of those primers that I think you'll run through very, very quickly, but it does feel very nice. So I like this one. Um, but I have to definitely test it out some more to make sure that it also makes my makeup last because that's my main reason for wearing primer. But so far, so good. Not overly perfumey, feels pleasant going on to the skin. Let's move on to foundation. But first I'm going to be uh, using my eyeshadow primer by Lorac which I'm quickly going to do off camera. So foundation, and I was always, I was almost a bit too quick here because I'm really excited to try this. This is their new Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. And now, if you're following my blog as well, I have been posting reviews for the new Catrice products over there because I'm in the midst of trying all of those. And that True Skin Foundation, you guys, they also claim it's hydrating, and I don't think it is quite as hydrating as they make it out to be. Uh, so I'm hopeful for this, that it's better. However, again, Essence base products are usually more like geared towards normal to oily skin and not my more dry, sensitive kind of skin type. 
This is, this is boasting a 24 hour long lasting hydration with hyaluron and aloe vera. It's a vegan formula and I believe that for Essence, this comes in quite a few shades and I didn't even buy the lightest one, which for real, like how did this work? And Essence actually did have some swatches on their website, at least the German website did have some swatches of these. So it was, I was able to gauge a little bit better what shade I needed to get. Uh, so what else does it say? Uh, 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturization with a natural coverage finish and light lit, weightless skin feel. So I already put this on the back of my hand and it feels sublime. So let me show you what this looks like. It comes in this little box and then it comes with a little tube inside which contains the standard 30 mil for a foundation. And then it says, you are pretty on the little flaps. So that's a nice detail. Essence products never really come in boxes. So I'm very happy that they do it for this. And also I already swatched everything of course, but the little tube was also sealed with a little like, um, like a little sticker. So I thought that was good. And then if I put this on the back of my hand, like, look at that. It's a little runny, but it's also quite thick and creamy. Like, I'm very, oops, why can't I close this with one hand? So there we go. So this is looking quite promising to me. Like, it's got a good shade, I think. So let's, let's put it on my face. Like, look at that. It's quite a thick texture. And then... Yeah, it feels quite thick. Like the primer, it feels quite thick. Well, almost like a like a moisturizer, you could say. Like that, that sort of texture. If you have a fairly thick moisturizer, that, that's what this feels like going on. Does that have a scent? Mm, I can't really detect a smell. But also this, like the primer, it feels quite nice where it now sits on my skin. I think this may be a pretty good shade. So I'm going to take my sponge. Let's see if it blends in. Hmm. Let's see if it can cover up this redness over here. Ooh, wow. This is looking nice. It's not like, this is not a full coverage foundation at all. It's definitely more lightweight, but oh wow. I do really like the look of this. It's sort of like, this is really like, it looks like skin. It just, it looks very seamless. Do you see that it's, it's just very, very natural looking on the skin. Oh, wow. Essence. I'm impressed. I know, like, I still need to wear this to see if it really, like, stays put. But this is the kind of coverage I like. And I've had, like, lots of texture around my nose because it's a bit drier over there. And it's not pulling into lines or anything like that, which the Catrice definitely did for me straight away. I think that will do. We're going to go in with concealer as well. And for that, I'm going to be using the Catrice True Skin. Not my favorite. I just thought I could whip in a quick update. The day I'm filming this, that's the day that this review went live on my blog. So I'll make sure to put that blog post in the description box down below if you'd like to see close-ups of this going on and my full thoughts. All right, so applied concealer, uh, powdered my face with my Hourglass powder. These products are just in my shop, my stash, in case you were wondering. And now we're moving on to brows. And for brows, I do have a massive update for you because Essence seems to be discontinuing my favorite brow gel ever, which is the Make Me Brow by them that they've been doing for years. I have this in the lightest shade, which is Blondie Brows. Boozy Shop still stocks this, which I was very happy with. So I got three in backup. <laughs> I, think I, I, I think I now have like four of these in backup because this I can't live without. I just opened this this month. This is currently in my shop, my stash. 
but Essence does have some new brow stuff. And the only thing they came out with that I really liked is this. And this is their Brow Pomade and Brush. And this product I thought looked very intriguing, but now that I've sort of swatched it, I think it's a bit of a scam <laughs> because uh, you get this like pen type of thing. What shade do I have this in? Oh, I forgot to tell you what shade I have the foundation in. It's, it's in 020 uh, Neutral Alabaster, which I completely forgot to say. Um, but this is in Blonde. So the way this works, it says so on the packaging, is you get a brush and then the little product is in this bottom. So this screw, this screws together like this, but that means that all of this product, all of this packaging is not being used. It's just there. <laughs> and I'm like, it's a bit thick for really, for it to be a brush, but all the product you get is in this little end. And it's not really a, like it's not even a pomade really, because if I just stick the brush in, like it just, if I swatch this, it just kind of looks like a powder. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. So you get the brush. I'm going to put some on the brush. And now I need to put this in my brows. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, ooh, it does have a almost like tacky kind of texture. Oh, I think this is one of those brow products. Ooh, oh, it does seem to have some sort of like creamy texture to it. It may have been that because I was using it for the first time. Ooh, it's really thick going into the brow. So on the back of my hand, this felt and looked like a powder. But it's definitely like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's like, like all glooped together in this side of my brow. So I'm just going to take a spoolie real quickly to see if I can brush it through, make it look a bit more natural. Okay, so this, this product you don't necessarily need a brow gel with, which is interesting. Because if you just take a spoolie and brush it through, it kind of does everything in one go. I do like the shade of this. Huh. Okay. So this is the kind of product where I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> but I think that maybe the, the top of the product may have just been a touch dry. I feel like there's a lot of product in that brush now. Let me see if I can... Stick that in this brow a little bit before I put more onto the brush. Yeah, so. Okay, so maybe I just put a little too much when I put it in the other brow. But this is pretty, this is pretty okay. Let me brush through my brows. So this is the kind of product that does kind of like stick to your brows. This is not something that I would recommend if you are uh, looking to just like do a very de like defined, precise brow. This is like one of those products where it's like, all right, you slap it on and you're good to go. All right, so that's, that's an interesting one. This is definitely one I have to try a bit more. I quite like the effect. Um, but I do think that on this brow, maybe from like brushing through, a lot of the brow product is now like outside of my like natural like brow thing. And I usually do my brows after I do my base like I did today. So I'm not sure if I can tone it down a little bit by going over with my sponge. Hmm. What do we think? I quite like this. I do still want to go in with my trusty make me brow. I've got some more stuff. Uh, for the face, we have a new bronzer. So I'm not sure whether this line is now limited edition or if it's part of their permanent line, but it's the Hello Good Stuff Matte and Glow Bronzer Nourishing with Cocoa. And this is in the shade 10 Cocoa Cool. And Essence bronzers are notoriously orange and just a little too deep, but now they do this. And I spotted this and I was like, that can look like a bronzer that might work for me. So um, they also are uh, redid their Sun Club bronzer, which I think they do a new rendition of like every two years. But those I've always found to be, again, too orange. And I don't really have a good essence bronzer that is like my go-to. I have a blush and a highlight that 
I love. So they can do cheek products quite well. So I'm very, very intrigued by this. It's got 99% natural ingredients. Uh, no microplastics, no mineral oils, no parabens, and it's vegan. And this seems to be a, a full line with also some other products, but I only had like one or two products from the line that intrigued me enough to pick them up. Most of it seems to be like skincare stuff, but it was not really geared towards sensitive skin or dry skin, so that's why I decided to stay away from those. But just know there is a whole line now called Hello Good Stuff. And again, not sure if this is limited edition or if it's part of the permanent line. But I'm gonna see if we can make this work. Oh wow! This may actually be too light! <laughs> nah, I think, oh no, it's doing enough. You just need to get through that first layer of the product, you could say. But this is very natural going on. This will be so pretty in the middle of winter. Like, it's definitely adding a bit of color to my face, which I'm happy with. Ooh, it's very powdery. Ooh, but it's very, very pretty going on. Ooh, do you see that? I know there's a lot of harsh sunlight coming in, but I can't control that, I'm afraid. Um, but you can't see it very well here, like my forehead and... Like, it's very, very nice looking. Ooh, a little bit more on this cheek. I am very impressed with the bronzer. This is really, really nice. So it has a lighter, glowier shade, and then it has this matte shade. So let me swatch those for you as well. So I already put it on my face, but a swatch never hurt anyone. So as you can see, it's super fair. Um, this does come in another shade, and like I said, the Sun Club bronzers are definitely a little bit deeper than that, but I definitely think that Essence can work on their bronzer range, because it's maybe not the best, not the best, not the best. For blush and highlight, I'm gonna go quickly into this. I'm not going to be doing these on camera, but then you do know that I am using existing Essence products. The highlighter in Heroic, is one of my long, like I bought this last year when these launched and it's so small, it's so compact, it's great for travel, the shade is amazing. It's almost like a gel to powder kind of texture. And as you can see here at the top, I've used this so, so much. This is one of the best affordable highlighters ever. All right, and the blush I just very quickly put on is the Matte Touch Blush by Essence in Blossomy Up. Um, the texture, like there used to be an imprint on this. I've worn it down completely. It's one of my favorite all-time blushes, not just because it's affordable, but it's just because it's a great blush. They now do, just like the highlighter in that line is called The Highlighter, the blushes are called The Blush, uh, but this is from an older line, but they do very similar shades, and they have been doing blushes like this for years, and they just seem to be changing the packaging, but they still are super duper lovely so that's great right so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow and for eyeshadow i have a new eyeshadow palette i just quickly primed my lids with my mac paint pot and my the body shop uh, eyeshadow that is so i have a very nice base to work with so let's try the daily dose of power eyeshadow palette by Essence, and these are a little smaller than I had envisioned them to be. I already spotted these on their Instagram, and I wasn't sure if these were limited edition or whether this was just their new eyeshadow launch for the regular line. It seems to be the latter. It comes in three different renditions, and this just had the most interesting color story of the three because it's got that bright blue, you get like these minty green shades, you get two reds, you get a gold, you get a silver, you get a champagne, and then a matte, like, creamy shade. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I definitely think I want to play with the blue and the greens. Like, that seems to be mostly up my street. It's got three mattes and six shimmers, and I do think, like, of course, these two do go together, and then the gold, but I don't really understand the red. I would have liked that to be, like, I don't know, and also this, like, bronzy, goldy shade. Like, if that could have been, like, a good taupe, and it would have been more cool-toned overall. Because for me, it just feels very random. <laughs> um, I already swatched these real quickly just now, so let me show you the three mattes. So that's what the mattes look like. They look nice. Uh, the the beige one, that matte shade is not going to show up. 
um, because it's my skin tone, so. <laughs> but th this is what these three shades look like. The red is okay. I'm most impressed with that minty green shade. So I think I wanna put that just in the crease just to see what it does. But I don't think there's anything really here to deepen anything up, so. I think, I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. We'll just try, uh, but it seems nice. And I've actually tried some of these like minty kind of shades from other brands that weren't that great. So for this to be this pigmented, I think is pretty good. Um, and it's like a nice pastel, you could say. And then for the shimmers, the blue is unfortunately a little sheer. It's a little lackluster. So let me see. If I swatch those next to it, oh, now the blue does show up a little bit better. But do you see that it, everything, it's not like, boom, pigment. Like, it's just a bit, nah, maybe not. That's a lot of sunlight. Let me see if I can do it. I can do it here. You see, do you see that? Like, it's got okay pigment, but maybe, maybe it's buildable. Maybe if I go with a brush and then a finger and foil it and all that, maybe it can still pop. But I just would have wanted a l little bit more from this. And then the bottom row here, so we have a silver, like a beigey champagne and that shimmering red, and it sort of has the same thing going on. So these are even a little bit more sparkly, especially that champagne and that silver, like they're over here. <laughs> you can't even really see them because they are so sparkly. So these two I feel are more like toppers almost they do feel very smooth um but that's the silver do you see that it's just it's okay i guess but also this one this is very close to my skin tone which is why i can't see it um but yeah it's just mm, I, i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure about these like they, they can be pretty so we're just going to whip out a look So this palette, what I feel it's missing is a good enough crease shade, something to really contrast uh, with the other shades. This is just a little too light to work in the crease. This is nice, I think, but it will only really work with the red and the gold. So I feel that it's just like, like this shade I would really use. So it would have been nice if this could have been like a dark brown that could tie everything together, you know what I mean? I just feel that this shade is just not needed because that minty shade blended very, very nicely on its own. So I really didn't need um, this palette to be this light, you could say. It's just a lot of mid-tones and light shades, but sparkle and nothing really to deepen it up. So that's a shame. Um, but I'm not able to zoom you in or zoom you out just yet because they also have a new mascara. And this is the Hello Good Stuff volume mascara with caring coconut oil 
This is from that same line as the new bronzer. So I was thinking, hey, a new mascara, I can try that. It. It's supposed to be volumizing. It's got 93% all natural ingredients. Sounds lovely, but this smells like coconuts. Like, I already opened this up to take pictures. It's got a sort of like cone-shaped brush. And then it just smells like coconuts. And not like coconut oil that you use to bake with, this smells exactly like the coconut primer that I used from Makeup Revolution and that definitely had fragrance in. So even though this is like 93% all natural and it probably has something in there, I think it has some form of fragrance uh, I can't really see it here on the ingredient list, but it does have aroma. So yeah, that would be the mascara. Again, I have no clue yet. This is the first time I've tried it. Is it my favorite? No, but I think two weeks from now, if this gets a chance to become a bit gloopier, it may be nice. Um, but yeah, that scent, I'm not sure. So we're back. Eyes are done. And I still have two more products for you because Essence came out with a new setting spray. Um, this is the Fix and Last 18 hour makeup fixing spray. It does have a matte effect and it's waterproof. Now, Essence setting sprays have been very unsuccessful for me. So I do have to warn you a little in advance. Again, I have no clue yet what this product is going to be like, uh, but it's supposed to last uh, 18 hours and it's an alcohol and oil-free makeup fixing spray that's suitable for all skin types. It seems to have cucumber extract, um, and a weightless feel mattifies your skin for a natural looking finish. Um, so it says to shake well, so we'll do that. So yeah, I've had um, fixing sprays from Essence before that literally gave me allergic reactions where my skin started to feel very prickly. So we'll see, let's see if this, what the spritzer is like. Oh, <laughs> um, that seems to be the fill almost in my eye. Okay, so now it works. Ooh, it's very fine and it's more, it doesn't, it just mists, it doesn't squirt. So that's good. Ooh. Hmm, how is this supposed to set my makeup? Because I don't know about you, but this is droplets on my skin. It's almost as if that sprayer is clogged with something. Again? Is that what we want? No, because we would like it to mist very evenly across our face and not like just have droplets. Do I see the droplets still sitting on my skin? No, but it does mean that not every part of your face is simply covered. Does it really look mattifying? Oh, wait, I'm covered in, <laughs> I'm covered in setting spray. It's like all up in my shirt and my, okay. So this is like, that wasn't perfect aim, I think. <laughs> It does feel pleasant. So is it the worst one I've ever tried? No. Do I love the spritzer? No. But maybe I can open a bottle where I do like the spritzer and then just put the product in there and give it a go that way. Because I think that spritzer is a little, yeah. It is a fine mist for sure, but it doesn't mean that. It just kind of gets all over and not really where you want it to go, which is your face. Um, last product then. Lipsticks. Essence has come out with a full new lipstick line. These are part of the This Is Me line, but these are called the Semi Shines. And I was intrigued by these because they seem to be similar to the Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipsticks, and I do quite like that formula. Uh, there are eight shades. I will make sure to do a video with these, maybe sometime in November. Um, I definitely first need to do that Catrice video. I'm still testing those things out. And once I'm, I've rotated through that, then I will uh, review all of these products for sure. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go with the nude, but I did wanna swatch, which was it? This one. 
Uh, so it comes with a nude and like a peach. Some of the shades seem to be quite similar, I have to say. But this is what the nude looks like. This is in the shade 101, my choice. And this is the one I want to put on, I think, because it does seem to be a very nice, like, do you see it has a bit of like a very creamy texture, but it's not really like a lip balm. It's definitely a lipstick. So I, I'll put that one on. But we also have 107, which is called Wild Side. And look at that. You know how much I like reds, and I'm not a big fan of like shiny reds, but the this one was the one that swatched best out of the eight. Like it has the most pigmentation and the best color payoff, which is why I wanted to show you that. It's like a fuchsia red, if that makes sense. Like, it's like because of that shine, it almost pulls a bit pink. So I would like to try these all out for you on my lips in a separate video. So that will be coming to you sometime in November. I mean, I first have single eyeshadow, uh, a single eyeshadow week to film for you and then the Catrice lipstick video. So I'm gonna have to fit these in sometime next month. But let's put on this nudie shade called 101 My Choice. What do you think? I quite like that shade. It's very thick, very creamy. I don't think this is going to be the most long-lasting lipstick formula on the planet by any means. Um, but this feels almost like a lip balm, but not quite. Let me show you. Like if you just, you can just like wipe them off with a tissue, right? So these are not gonna last very long. Um, the Power Plumping Gel lipsticks also didn't last very long, I have to say. But after like four or five hours, I was able to um, um, reapply them and then it was fine. So if you take these with you in your handbag, then that's nice. So um, yeah, I do quite like that shade, very pretty. All right, so what are some products that I would recommend right off the bat? I am quite happy with what my base makeup looks like. This base seems to be working a lot better for me than the new Catrice one, so I'm happy with that. This brow pomade thing, I definitely need to try more, not sure about it, by that, just like the primer, and I have to say, I do quite like the look of this bronzer. It's starting to look more orange almost. It's almost as if this is oxidizing on me, but it does look nice and natural and it still gives me like a nice glow to the face. So I think Essence has finally come out with a bronzer that works for me. And then the eyeshadow palette, uh, not sure about that one. And I'm also not really sure about the fixing spray, the mascara, lipsticks I still need to try. Yeah, so with, with Essence, it's always a little hit and miss. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned for any future videos with Essence and Catrice products because I do loads of those. You definitely have two more lipstick reviews coming and I will also update you on all of these products sometime in December when I've tried everything. I usually do a roundup as well to let you know how everything worked after trying it for some time. In the meantime, you can check out my blog because that's where usually most, uh, most reviews goes li go live a little bit more quickly. So I'm currently working my way through Catrice reviews and I think maybe at the end of this month, maybe early next month, I'll start on these Essence products over there. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.